My name is Darnisha Weary, and I am one of the owners of Black Coffee. My name is Erwin Weary, and I'm the CEO of Black Coffee Northwest in Shoreline, Washington. I'm from Yakima, born and raised there. I moved out to Seattle in 1997, and it's just been an amazing journey. I am a Washingtonian, a Seattleite. I grew up here, born and raised, which I'm really proud of and love. Even before we opened Black Coffee Northwest, um, Darnisha and I were heavily involved in community outreach. I coach a, a youth step team. We're called the Northside Step Team. We've been around since the year of 2000. Um, we're a traveling competitive group. We started a nonprofit organization oh, about 20 years ago, and that began our journey of what blossomed into what's happening now. <laughs> Opening up Black Coffee Northwest in a pandemic was a very risky move. The only thing that we were doing was allowing people to come to the drive through What can I get going for you? That alone was enough for us to take the risk. 2020, as everyone knows, was a, a pivotal moment in history. The, the pandemic hit, there's all this racial injustice. We needed to be a, some kind of beacon of light. Even though we're just small in Shoreline, I felt like having some place where people could meet and really talk about tough issues and understanding and things like that, we needed to have some place to do that. The opening was delayed. There was an attempted arson in our building where someone tried to intentionally burn the building down. The physical structure we can fix. It was the emotional heartbreak that someone tried to burn something down that was so special. And a place that we intentionally wanted to make sure that people felt safe in. At a time when a lot of people didn't feel safe. We were just frustrated with people challenging who we wanted to be. Why are you doing that? And why is it called Black Coffee? And so uh, the conversation really is, when I go to a Mexican restaurant or taco truck, I expect to see someone who is Mexican working. When I go to a Chinese restaurant, it is the same. I appreciate it. What is the problem with us being a Black-owned business and you walk in, you should expect to see Black staff, Black representation all over the walls. It should feel like a Black-owned business. We had a great turnout when we finally did open. The community stepped up. People gave support. We really love it. They have wonderful coffee and good food, and we really want to support a Black-owned business in our neighborhood. They're a great business. When I see the baristas making coffee and connecting with customers, and the customers are happy, the baristas are happy, that means something to me. That absolutely means something. Thank you. We're proud to be your first employer for you. We are also showing representation that you can be an entrepreneur, you can be a business owner. It's really exciting to see this thing blossom so quickly and you know, both me and Bernice appreciate everyone just for being here. We have a barista training program and so they'll be 14 years old up until 16 when they're employable. I'm May. I'm 19 years old. I am the manager, supervisor, and barista shift lead here at Black Coffee Northwest. I've been making coffee for about seven months. It hasn't seemed like that long, but a lot of people tell me I look like I've been making coffee for years, and that, I take that as a huge compliment. <laughs> Create a strand, and then you're going to turn it all the way. I'm Natasia. I'm 17, and I'm a co-founder of Black Coffee Northwest. I've been training to be a barista, and it's my first job as a barista. Today is when they get to decide if I can do it by myself. It's beautiful. It's actually really fun. <laughs> this program for me has definitely shown me a great deal of confidence. It's shown me that I can do anything, and I can teach anyone else to do anything. It's a beautiful brown shot. Thank you. I love it. I'm so proud of you. The coffee is amazing. So we use Boon coffee from Ethiopia. The owner is actually in Renton, so another local black-owned business. We sell Zuri's Pastries, a black-owned shop in Linwood. He makes pastries, donuts, cakes, great stuff. All of the clothing that we sell here are from local small businesses who have probably never been in a retail space before, who may have never had the opportunity to, to put their merchandise in a coffee shop. We really want people to 
engage and learn more about what's going on in the world and how it affects black people, how it affects people of color. And so this is that place, like even down to our cups, like we put quotes on our cups. That's just a little education every time you buy your cup of coffee. Our local businesses have wrapped their arms around us, have helped us, have shown up. We're gonna keep going. You know, the community wants us here. We wanna be here. It's important that we're here. And so we're gonna stay here. If you serve the folks who are furthest away from justice, then you serve everyone. <laughs> Lacha? Okay, and here's this. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.